Welcome to part two of the lesson on connecting different representations of functions. In example two, we're asked to use the formula for h of t to complete the table, where the formula is h of t equals the absolute value of t. Then we want to graph the results and then use words to describe the relationship between the input and output variables. So looking at our table, notice how we're given several inputs or t values. Our first step is going to be to find the corresponding outputs or function values. So when the input is negative three, the output is going to be h of negative three. So we substitute negative three for t. So h of negative three equals the absolute value of negative three. And therefore h of negative three is equal to, well the absolute value of negative three is equal to positive three because negative three is three units from zero which means the first ordered pair for h of t is going to be negative three comma three. Every ordered pair is in the form of the input comma the output. Next we want to find the output when the input is negative two. Well the output is going to be h of negative two, which equals the absolute value of negative two. And because the absolute value of negative two is equal to positive two, when the input is negative two, the output is positive two, and the other pair is negative two comma two. The next input is negative one, and therefore the output is going to be h of negative one, which equals the absolute value of negative one, which equals one. So the next order pair is negative one comma one. The next input is zero, so the output is h of zero, where h of zero is equal to the absolute value of zero, and therefore h of zero equals zero. The next order pair is zero comma zero. The next input is one, so the output is h of one, which equals the absolute value of positive one, and the absolute value of one is one, because one is one unit from zero. So the next order pair is one comma one. For the same reason, when the input is two, because the absolute value of two is two, the output is two, so the order pair is two comma two, and when the input is three, the output is going to be h of three, which equals the absolute value of three, which is three. So the order pair is three comma three. Now let's graph these points given by the ordered pairs. Where we always find the inputs along the horizontal axis and the outputs along the vertical axis. So let's go ahead and label the horizontal axis t and the vertical axis h of t. Notice how the maximum input is positive three and the minimum input is negative three. So we'll scale the horizontal axis by ones. But let's let every two grid marks be equal to one unit. So we'll put a tick mark here, 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 and here in the positive direction. So if we're scaling by ones, we'd have one, two, three, four. In the negative direction, we would have negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Because the maximum output is positive three, and the minimum output is zero, let's go ahead and scale the vertical axis just like we scaled the horizontal axis. So we'd have one, two, three, and four. We're not going to be using the negative vertical axis. Let's go ahead and label it anyway. The first ordered pair is negative three comma three. So if we start at the origin, we move left three units to negative three where the input is negative three. And then because the output is positive three, we move up three units to this point here, where again, the input is negative three and the output is positive three. The next order pair is negative two comma two. So the input is negative two and the output is positive two. So the input is negative two and the output is positive two. Again, at this point or location, the input is negative two and the output is positive two. The next order pair is negative one comma one. So left one unit from the origin where the input is negative one, and up one unit where the output is positive one. Next order pair is zero comma zero, which is here at the origin. The next order pair is one comma one, where the input is one and the output is one. Next order pair is two comma two, where the input is two and the output is two. And finally we have three comma three, where the input is three and the output is three. So notice how the graph of h of t equals the absolute value of t is a V-shaped graph that looks like this. 
one property of the absolute value function is that it will always be a V-shaped graph. Our last step is to use words to describe the relationship between the input and output variables. And because our function formula is h of t equals the absolute value of t, we can say the function h of t takes the absolute value of the input. I hope you found this helpful.